in this video, we're going to be taking a look at some colorful lash-ups. Let's get today's video started. We'll be taking a look at some whale train, loaded one, heading east. I would guess this one's going towards Willard, or either that Cleveland. I have no idea. This clip was taken back of 2022. I wasn't able to post this one onto YouTube yet because I just didn't have time and I just didn't feel like it. Now I feel like uploading this one. So this one is, was definitely worth the wait. And especially it had a CSA bleeding. A Jibo. Of course. A Jibo. Anyway, it had a NS-9 trailing second out of two. Why could it be loaded? Anyway, seeing a loaded work train on the Willard is quite rare. Actually, seeing a work train on CS6 or any type of work train is quite rare because I have not seen one in a long time. This one was the first one ever since 2020. So whatever this train is, I think this one is the manifest going like east, but I think they're transporting the work train out to Willard or somewhere out east. Whatever they gotta bring it to, they'll transport it on a manifest. Anyway, next train would end up being NS-12N with the Virginian leading 1069 and then the trailing unit, two out of two, would end up being the Central Main Quebec 3987. That would be trailing on 12N. Unfortunately, of November of 2024, 3987 will be rebuilded into the NS AC44 C6L.
June 14, 2024. It would be an evening on Sunday where after Father's Day and basically we came back to Samaria. Not only didn't just catch in Ann Arbor on a Sunday, but we would see two CP locomotives heading south on Ann Arbor Trackage. Yes, Ann Arbor Trackage, you hear that way. So, Ann Arbor proves they brought up a potash loads to Alsmere Interchange with Great Lake Central, where it's going to go up to the Huron and Eastern and Duran. Yeah. They're going up to Huron and Eastern, but I thought they would only use their own power on an Arbor Railroad. I guess not. July 1st, 2024, I'll be back out to Cone, Michigan after giving word a CP8757, Every Child's Matter unit will be leading on 2.30 for Mod 12. But anyway, first train will be 120 for Detroit. <laughs>
this is definitely 2.30 all way with the Every Child's Matter. He would be solo leading. I would thought the KCS unit would be trailing behind the Every Child's Matter. But I guess they decided to do it solo and the KCS unit would be as a mid DPU. Anyway, after getting 120, it would be 20 minutes later we would get a headlight for CP230 and it didn't have flashing ditch lights so I knew it was going to be 230 heading east on the Wabash line. Back in Lake George area, after checking out a cabin of ours, we decided to head to the, not only to the Great Lake Central trackage to catch the Cadillac South Turn. It will be heading to Claire today with a X Ann Arbor Railroad GP35 Trio. A Trio. Yeah, they're all X Ann Arbor. GP35 leading on the Cadillac South Turn. I would thought the 385 unit would have an RS5T since Friday I would give him word that that unit would have an RS5T. I guess it didn't, so it had a normal horn. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video of all the catches that we caught. The one catch back in 2022 and the other of 2024. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you guys in the Michigan or State or the Buckeye State Wells.